What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. Me and Paradox over here are gonna have a really long night. We're gonna try to get old Ducky over here up and running again. Got the new VP44 sitting here, new air dog filters. Caleb's over here showing me his stock injectors he still has. He still has them in the, the DAT box. This is a, uh, this is a torque tool. It's a CIP040 part number. This is an injector puller. You can use an intake bolt or just about any bolt taking the engine apart just to be cheaper, but this is an actual injector puller from Torque Tools. It makes it a little bit easier. Like I said, though, you can just use an intake bolt. It just makes it a little bit easier. You just screw it in the top of the injector and, and plunge it right out, so. Yeah, these are the stock ones. A little bit the of knowledge. Right these the are the original the Bosch ones, right? Yeah, these are the original Bosch ones. Uh, I don't know if many of my supporters follow your channel, but eventually one day, whenever I get a compound set up, I want to rebuild these original ones and into 250s. Currently, I'm running 175. So whenever I get a compound set up, always you always want to rebuild your original ones. That's that's always the best bet. But he's he Hunter's got some pretty nice ones that I'm sure he can yeah. show you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys those now. He went with DAP, which is a great company. I obviously went with Ducky for a reason. Uh, I just love the name. I hate to say I went with him just because of the name, but I, I have two buddies that actually ran Ducky Fuel Injection as well. They're kind of a smaller company. They're not a very big name yet. They're out of Arkansas. He actually uh, worked, gave me his personal phone number so I can reach out to him whenever I need to, which is awesome. I got the new ones right here. These are 7, seven by 0 0.011s. They're basically in between 175 and 200 horse injectors. I went ahead and upped them up a little bit more because I know I'm going to be going with the compound setup for my truck. So instead of getting like a smaller setup like 100s or 150s, I went ahead and just bump them up because I want to plan for the future because I don't want to buy 100s or 150s then you know two months two or three months down the road go ahead and just have to buy new injectors so I haven't bumped them up now uh, I got my new fuel pressure gauge as well from S Pro we gotta hook that up beat new VP44 from Thoroughbred which I've already showed you guys and the new air dog filters so pretty much other than injector lines for the truck everything fuel wise is going to be brand new so like I said we do have a lot of work ahead of us I go ahead and walk over here. Caleb's already kind of got started on it. I just got here from Florida. He's went ahead and took the valve cover off, intake off, which is already off. Got my S369, of course. My fuel lines are off. VPs yeah, got fuel off. off. VPs off. Got my steed speed. So I think the first thing we're gonna pretty much start on is getting the old injectors out, probably. Right? Or we're gonna try to do the filters and everything first. Uh, probably do the injectors first because I don't feel like messing that VP right now. It's yeah, the VP is probably going to be the biggest pain. Talk about the tappet cover real quick, the importance of it whenever you're doing this. Yeah, I actually, I've already replaced my tappet cover, this little gasket down here. That's, you guys see this blue, might be kind of hard to see. I replaced mine when I bought the truck because it was leaking a little bit, but usually whenever you replace your VP44, you want to go ahead and replace that tablet cover as well because it does leak and it's kind of a pain to get to. So while you already have the VP out, it's just a good call to go ahead and change it. You changed yours when you did your VP44, right? Yeah, and it was it was about time for it to be replaced anyway. Another thing, connecting tube. This is this comes in that little kit, that part number I showed you. It's a connecting tube puller. It's actually this works very well. Again, you can use a flathead screwdriver. Just risky. You don't want to mess up those threads and connecting tubes. You don't always have to replace connecting tubes. Not every time you replace injectors, you got to replace connecting tubes. Not many people know that. Uh, so save you a little bit of money, use a con connecting tube puller, uh, pull them out. Obviously, if they're damaged, go ahead and replace them. If you put new injectors in, still having issues and they're uh, pop tested and your injectors aren't misfiring, things like that, you, might ha you may have a bad connecting tube. And the rubber O-rings always need to be replaced. You should have got rubber O-rings with this kit. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. good. So Ducky does the right thing, send you rubber O-rings, uh, put a little oil on them, things like that. We're going to talk about it a little bit, just, just a brief summary of some important things before we get started. Uh, as well, I mean... Of course, Vaseline's out not for fun or party, but <laughs> this is out because you got to put the little bit of a little bit of Vaseline on the copper O-rings whenever you put the new injectors in. Because if you don't, uh, those copper O-rings can sometimes fall and get misplaced, or maybe even uh, you may even lose them or something. So just secure them with some Vaseline, put them on the injector just a little bit, not too much. Don't have too much fun with it. And then if you look at new injectors wrong, they'll probably misfire. I don't know about Duckies; they're a great brand, probably one of the best you can you can get, but. Uh, definitely better than DAP in my opinion. I just couldn't afford them at the time. As soon as you go to touch the new injectors, you always want to have fresh gloves on. So we got fresh gloves, probably put some on when we're taking the old ones out just so I don't get my hands dirty. Then I'm going to take them off before I even look at the new injectors, put the new gloves on, and then get ready to start it. That's just a couple things you need to 
pay attention to or know before doing this job. Yeah, so like I was saying, we definitely have a long night ahead of us, but I'm so excited to get this truck back up and running and finishing her. I know I put off the wrap right now for the front bumper and putting the fog lights in. I know uh, Loud and Proud already put his in and Dippin' Diesel, he already has his fog lights in as well. And the funny thing is I put my bumper on before them and they're a lot farther than I am. But I wasn't planning on replacing the VP44, so I had to put off the fun stuff in order to have the truck back and up and running. But yeah, that's a, that's just how it goes. Usually when you try to do one cool thing to your truck, something bad happens. But yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try to knock this out. Like I said, we're just we're just prepping the truck, getting it ready. Hopefully, the next video you guys see, we'll have the truck up and running. We're gonna try to have it running tonight. That way, we we can post. Today is Friday night, so we're gonna try to have it running tonight, and then tomorrow on Saturday, just be testing it. I'll get you guys a first crank up video, stuff like that. So it's gonna be like a couple part video. We'll have part one tonight, obviously showing you guys what we got going on. Part two tomorrow, hopefully having the truck up and running. Yeah, and idea. what's that? Four wheeler video this weekend. So I was starting yours up because I cut the grass earlier. So I had to move the mower. It was in front of your four wheeler. So I had to move your four wheeler back. You need to do a video on the uh, exhaust because starting yours next to like a stock exhaust, you're still stock. We took off those plates or whatever. Yeah. You need to make a video on that because it's a lot louder. Well, if you guys follow me for the Can Am, you just heard that. I'll go ahead and make a video of that too. I haven't. I took a guy at Boggs and Boulders over. It was this past weekend. Told me to take off some stuff, which I have right here, which which I'll get into in the video of that. But uh, he told me to take off a few things with a sock muffler and see if it made a difference. And apparently, I actually totally forgot about it. I actually took it all off and I had to run home. So I took it all off and had my brother actually rewash my four wheeler for me. And he was just telling me that, I guess, whenever he started it up, it sounds a lot different. So if you guys do follow me for the Can-Am, I guess stay tuned for that video. I guess we'll try to make that tomorrow as well. But I don't want to make this video too long, guys. Like I said, I just want to show you guys what we got going on and go ahead and show you guys the different steps we're going. But until next time, guys, wish us luck. I know there was one other thing I had to go over, but I can't remember. It was something along the lines of, do you remember who it was? Someone told us that whenever, before we started up with the new filters and new VP to run some type of oil through it to make sure everything is good. Oil through it. It wasn't oil, some type of like, not Lucas, but some type of, chem not chemical, but uh, some type of something to run through it. As far as they. To like lubricate the it, basically. To basically like lubricate it, because I guess the diesel nowadays isn't saying like it used to be. Well, I mean, that's with every fill up you're supposed to lubricate. There's something at Walmart that's like 10 bucks or something that people buy. And what it was saying like the first startup of it, not just like maintenance wise, it was like the first startup. I, I can't remember what it was. If you guys know what I'm talking about, please let me know down below. It's kind of like a maintenance type thing. Like I said, guys, wish us luck. Hopefully you guys will see a video of the truck running tomorrow. But until next time, guys, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.